So I want to talk a little bit about how computer forensics can play a role in proving fraud, both in litigation and insurance claims. In a situation where someone produces photos, it's often not known that those photos have embedded metadata that can be extracted. Information such as GPS uh, positioning of the photo, uh, other information including what camera or application was used to generate the photo, and the original creation of that photo can be found. And those dates don't necessarily align with the file reported date. In one instance, a situation happened where someone was injured in a vehicular accident and a camera was on scene that had recorded video and that video was able to be extracted to show other other vehicles in the area and who was at fault. That's a, a basic scenario, but in a different situation involving a bicycle tragedy, someone was was ran over by a car and the contractor who had been working on the scene renovating a house nearby had alleged that there were sufficient markers uh, to prevent the bicyclers from going down a certain bike path where things were happening. And unfortunately, the biker passed away from this accident. What was interesting is after the litigation from the family ensued, Photos were captured by the contractor who had responsibility for marking the, the right of way and protecting people riding their bicycles from coming into harm's way. They produced photos that showed cones in certain positions as well as other signage and markers, except when I examined those photos, I determined that those photos were actually created more than a month and a half after the accident. Furthermore, there were other problems in that the name of the files uh, for the photos that were produced didn't conform to the format that the Apple phone typically produces. And so it was clear to me that the photos had been manipulated. The last reported software that was used showed that an Apple editing program had altered the photos. So there were many issues relating to the integrity of those photos that were produced. Um, the file name uh, not following a proper convention, other aspects of the file names that supported that they were fraud, and the dates and timestamps and the lack of, of other GPS records that would have been there had an iPhone been used to take the picture. So there were some serious concerns there, other things including the low resolution of the, the photos at 75 dpi were suggestive that this wasn't a photo that was normally taken with a smartphone, but a photo that was used to try to conduct a hoax. So it's important if you're dealing with photos in litigation that you look at those photos and have someone qualified to extract the metadata and tell you exactly what happened as it relates to the origin of those photos and where they were taken from. If you're looking for help with that, our firm is an expert in computer forensics. We have experience analyzing videos as well as photos and would be happy to help you.